Hello YouTube viewers and RC MacGyver family. This is my comparison videos. I like the difference between the two. This one's actually a lot better. A lot better quality. A lot nicer. Nice quality air filter. On the 35cc. Good quality pull start from what I can what I can tell by pull starting it. Nice sleek exhaust manifold and muffler. Probably guessing this is a muffler. Or it could be just the exhaust manifold. Compared to the gen or the run page ones more bulky. This one's all metal. With the rubber, rubber on here with the clamp, bolts on, compared to the Rampage one, it had the plastic one. The guy that didn't even have this, don't even have this motor broke in. The guy that said he was a mechanic went and messed with the needle settings on it, on it setting on to until the motor was broken. So he kind of buggered that for that carburetor out. So I messed around with the settings. So now I'm just getting a double, another the Walbro WD990 race carb chokeless. Then I painted my rims chrome to kind of give it a different effect to it. Because all the Rampage XT rims are all black. And then the battery died in it. Boss control. And my battery pulls, or my body pulls snapped off at the time and then I lost control ran into a park vehicle into their tire and slammed hit the front hit the front wheel slam broke this up or slam slam this back broke it slammed it into my shock tower cracked the mounting pole on it and bent the bent the tower back had to straighten it out straighten out the hole but it's still good though It'll last. And then I put a bottle lid on here from a baking powder container and then I cut the container in half and shortened, shortened it up so it fits in here without affecting the throttle. I want to put the cat box exhaust on this. I like the difference. It's got the black boot compared to the red boot. I like this one better. This one has the little 35cc sticker. This one had the big yellow one on here. This is the upgrade conversion kit. I went through two pull starts. Both lasted like a week. They were like a sealed unit. So couldn't even take it apart and fix them. Replace the, the coil spring inside. So I just went with the uh, cordless drill bit, drip, drill bit, one-way bearing to start it. Do some upgrades on this and doing the snorkel conversion kit. I have to look into seeing if I have to waterproof the magneto and the kill switch inside here to get this thing for it to be waterproof. Could, like absolutely waterproof. And wasn't long after I had I was doing my upgrade, doing the conversion to dual steering. My servo was on on the table when I linked it, turned it over on its side to do the upgrades. Crushed my receiver, so I ordered a new one. Put it in there, put the battery on there, turned it on, and then my throttle. Brake servo went up in smoke, so I had to order another one of those. Did some drilling on the chassis, kind of made a mistake. Had to drill a, couple, a few holes to actually get it lined up. I only had got two screws back here, screwed through, and I think only one on the front screwed, so it should be pretty solid. Should hold. And then I got the second servo, put the link. Linkage in there, 
they said that it couldn't be done or it could be done but it was you had to do some modification so and this is the rampage mt conversion kit i paid like 40 bucks from vancouver bc and got the steering kit the y cable and the steering pin set up there and I just wrapped some wire, put the bar in there, wrapped some wire around it, bent it around the drive shaft so it works just do some finer minor adjustments on this toe towing, that's not straight and that one's kind of towed out so I just have to make some adjustments on that one, straighten it out first time I'm doing dual steering so it's a little bit a little bit different. Nice something. Nice thing about this was uh, thinks this one looks like like it's washable, and compared to this one where it had the dual foam inserts, and then it had the plastic cone with the plastic cap with the car pin to hold it in place. This is all a lot better. Clamps on here. The rubber rubber booting. And then it screws the cap over top of that. And this is metal compared to the plastic. So that it, this one came from Hong Kong, $336. That one's the original 30cc motor. It came on the XT. So many different quality improvements on this motor compared to that one. Now. It's like between the five and seven hundred dollars just for another thirty cc, and I picked this one up for three hundred thirty-six, and this is thirty-five cc's. So it's quite a difference. So I paid seven hundred, just over seven hundred for the whole truck from an RC website here in Canada. I think it was from BC as well. I can't remember the name of it. Then I did the chrome rims, improved it, put the cordless drill starter on this. I'll see how durable this one this one is. Seems a lot more durable than the one that the ones that were came with this motor. And then I'm found myself a two-bedroom house so I'm not building and stuff inside my apartment more room I actually have a garage to work in to build my generally so I'll be busy and I haven't run this one yet with the new carb so I find my bit or order buy another order another bit in to start it because I don't want to go back to pull start for this kept going through the pull current pull starts So I'll be busy moving and everything in the next two, three weeks. Or three and a half weeks. So I'll try and do some some uploads, but if I can't, you know where I where I'm busy. <laughs> or I'll be busy doing <laughs> packing and moving and cleaning. Cause it's the twenty second today of January and I have the Try and be out of here by the 15th of February because the power will be shut off. So it's kind of a, a bit of a crush. Crush time there to pack and move and clean here and clean the house. That's why I haven't been it. And then with the Christmas holidays and everything else, trying to wait for my Porsches to come and all that. For, Took a bit for this one to come through, for the payment method to go through on eBay and PayPal. But once it went through, it only was only like a week, week and a half when the motor showed up from Hong Kong, so that was pretty sweet. So I think it was the 11th, I think, or the 9th, or 10th, or something like that, when the payment went through, and it showed up yesterday, showed up Monday. So it was about a week, 
I'd say about a week and a half. That's when it showed up. So please like, subscribe, comment, hit, hit that notification bell, and join the Hershey MacGyver family. This is my compare engine comparisons from the Hong Kong to the Chinese Chinese one. This one's so much better. I'm happy with this one. This one's gonna be for the generally. So have fun are seeing you out there. Join the MacGyver family. Have fun with the RC hobby. Have a good one.